So, what do you get when you mix Diablo, vampires, and a tactical turn-based RPG? You get one heck of an adventure, that's what. This is the Chief Chocobo himself, Alan, here with Media Moogle, and my unintentional goth month continues with Early Morning Studios' Vampire's Fall Origins. The best way I can describe this game would be a 2D open-world RPG with tactical combat. You start with character creation, and while it's pretty bare bones, but it gives you enough to make your character feel like your own. Next you get to choose your bloodline, all with unique bonuses, and then you start your adventure. Instantly you are hit with a wave of the familiar feel of games like Diablo and Torchlight, and that's not a bad thing. Quickly enough, this game blindsides you with a very unique combat system. I have to say that I was pleasantly caught off guard with the turn-based tactical combat that is featured in this game. As I leveled up my character and explored the area, I found myself having fun building and spending focus at the right time to maximize damage and restore health. My only gripe with the combat system was that I never found a way to use items in combat, making this game artificially more difficult than it needed to be. Speaking of difficulty, you'll get it in bunches with this game. However, there's no permadeath and the penalty for revival is just spending a few coppers. With randomized encounters and unknown obstacles afoot, I found the lack of lives and a softer death penalty to be a fair balance to the difficulty spikes in enemies in combat. You will die a lot in this game, and I did very early on as you're not going to be able to power through every obstacle without doing a bit of old-fashioned grinding first. Also, there are super powerful elite enemies that you can encounter in this game, and if you're stupid enough to challenge them early like I was, you better just assume the fetal position and await your respawn. Completing quests and defeating your foes awards you with experience, gold, and loot, which in turn allows you to invest points into a myriad of talents and abilities. This game offers a nice variety of talents that allow you to tailor your experience around your own preferred playstyle. From magical attacks to vampiric powers to what type of weapons you want to be most proficient in, this game offers you ample amounts of choice. I found while the character creator at the start to be very bare bones, the amount of customization for your playstyle had a level of depth that I have not seen in a lot of AAA titles for quite a long time, never mind in indie game. So, well done here. Throughout your journey, you will have to interact with a wide variety of NPCs to take quests and learn about the world around you. Unlike the majority of Diablo-style games in which you simply just click next until the game points you in the direction of what you need to kill, this game offers a ton of snarky remarks and humor. I found myself laughing or stopping my play and just sitting at my desk clapping in response to some of the dialogue choices this game offered. Even there was times where the name of your hometown when you start the game is literally just a hyphenated version of a vampire. I cringed, but I also laughed that they went there. Unfortunately, the one area this game falls short in the myriad of Diablo clones is in the sound department. Combat has music, and each town has a bit of music. However, there's nothing that stands out as remarkable. Sound effects are very limited, and there's a distinct lack of music in the overworld, leaving room for improvement in the ambiance department. That being said, the average sound design was never really a distraction to me, and I can easily see myself playing this game with my own music, or with one of the many Media Moogle podcasts playing in the background. The sound design, at least for me, did not take away from my overall experience, it just unfortunately didn't really do anything to enhance it either. With everything else that was done well in this game, I can handle the sound being kind of overlooked, because I just it didn't take away anything, and just as a fellow gamer... Throw on some headphones, throw on a podcast, throw on some music, and have at it. It won't take anything away from your experience. Overall, I had a blast playing this game to review it, and it was definitely one I plan on playing on my own time in the future. Personally, I do plan on actually completing this game. I, it was hard for me to stop and say, hey, I have enough footage to do this review, because I just kept wanting to keep going. I want to thank Early Morning Studios for giving us an advanced copy of this game, and they definitely put out a quality product. And deep character customization, entertaining dialogue, and a unique take on Diablo with a tactical style combat system, it all came together to offer something fresh among the myriad of Diablo clones available here on Steam. It is evident why this game was a mobile award winner in 2019, and definitely worth checking out when it launches here at the end of January, again on Steam. This has been Alan with Media Moogle saying sayonara, stay tuned for the next review here, peace out, see you next time.
If you're looking for video game reviews, podcasts, and more, please be sure to visit MediaMoogle.net as well as the MediaMoogle YouTube page.